Okay, on the 25th of March in 2017, we had a prescribed fire here to control cedar trees. We started the fire about where we're standing and wanted it to go east up the hill. It was not the optimum time to have a fire because the humidity was too high and we didn't have enough wind. But like I said earlier, I'd called the fire off so many times without it being dangerous out of prescription, we had to go with it. So we had the fire. As you can see up there, the bigger trees, the fire did not get, but all the smaller trees were burned off and killed. And that is what has come back since 2017. Controlling cedar trees with a fire works very good, but it's not going to be one of those things that you do it once and you don't have to do it again. It's going to be a continuous thing. Why fire works so good here with those little trees, you don't have to have a roaring fire to kill them. But if you didn't burn that, how are you going to get rid of those cedar trees? You'd have to walk up to each one of them with a saw or a big weed eater. It just isn't going to happen. We have to rely on fire to control the cedar trees. <laughs>